Yeah, um, we actually have former Prime Minister Paul Martin who is uh, on the phone and reacting to all of this. Um, Mr. Martin, your reaction to the passing of Ralph Klein? Well, I'm obviously very sorry. I, I knew Ralph well and I liked him. I knew uh, that he had been sick of late. Um, but, you know, to hear here's somebody who's made such a contribution to his country and who was a good friend uh, pass away obviously fills me with a, with a feeling, <clears throat> a great deal of, regret, of regret. And what was he like? Oh, he was a terrific guy. I dealt with him, you know, uh, extensively on probably a number of major issues. The two most important were the Canada Pension Plan. Uh, when we began the reform of the Canada Pension Plan, the people the person I worked with most closely from the provinces was Jim Dinning, who was then his Minister of Finance. And obviously, the Jim Dinning required uh, Ralph Klein's total support. And the one thing I always noticed about Ralph Klein is that he, while he was the, the Premier of Alberta, he was also a great Canadian, and he d did look for the national interest. This was true in terms of the Canada Pension Plan. And it was true in later negotiations that I had with him over equalization. Alberta was a major contributor, and yet he never begrudged it. And he was always very, very constructive. I, we've lost, we've lost a Canadian today, who has made a major contribution uh, to his country. And tell us a little bit more about that, Mr. Martin. In terms of the, the the legacy, you talk about the Canada Pension Plan that that he took interest, that he didn't begrudge those equalization payments. What do you think will be Ralph Klein's legacy to this country? Well, he's obviously going to have a very strong legacy legacy in terms of Alberta. Uh, he was there at a critical time. Um, but in terms of the country, it is this ability, um, as the premier of one of Canada's richest provinces, to be able to speak for the national interest. And that obviously had an influence um, on the other provinces and on his fellow premiers. Um, equalization uh, is sometimes a contentious issue, but it's, it's one of the things that essentially holds the country together, the recognition that we've got to have social programs of equal uh, equal import across the country. And, and Ralph Klein never deviated from that in any way, shape, or form, certainly not in my discussions with him. Same thing with the Canada Pension Plan. There were a lot of people in Alberta at that time uh, when the Canada Pension Plan was in trouble and had been in trouble for some 20 years. And the unfunded liability was greater than the national debt. Who A lot of people in Alberta were saying, just wind it up, forget about it. And not Ralph Klein. Uh, Ralph Klein said, and, and Jim Dinning said, no, we're going to solve this issue, and it was a joint federal-provincial program. Uh, and I needed uh, people in the provinces to take the leadership along with the federal government, and Jim Dinning and Ralph Klein were those people. Colorful, controversial, these are some of the words that we hear in terms of describing Ralph Klein. What was he like in a one-on-one -on -one situation? What was he like when the cameras weren't on? He was a lot of fun. Uh, he was a he, he was a great deal of fun. Uh, you you could you talk serious matters, but um, he didn't necessarily have to sort of wallow in them. Uh, he was he was very good company. He's the kind of person that uh, uh, you know if you weren't talking serious matters and you were just passing the time of day, he was very entertaining. He was a good guy. Mr. Martin, good of you to take the time with us today. Thank you very much. That's former Prime Minister Paul Martin sharing his thoughts on uh, the passing of Ralph Klein.